you know, having a channel called Wrestling with Finance, it kind of lends to the fact that eventually, every so often, I will talk about wrestling on this channel, especially when it pertains to finance. And this past week, we had a, not huge, but a significant story involving WWE, its stock, its board of directors, and some very unhappy shareholders. So what I'm gonna talk about in this video is exactly what happened with this big lawsuit that's going on with WWE, what it means, and explain it in a little bit more detail than what I've seen on, on some <laughs> other YouTube channels as to what's really going on, what this really, what this really is, and is it really that big a deal for WWE? Welcome to Wrestling With Finance. This is the YouTube channel for people who are struggling with finance, may have had a bad financial history, or wrestling with it a little bit, and want to know good, sound investment strategies for the future, what to do with your money, how to rebuild your credit, and lots of things like that, including getting your blood drawn today because I had my physical. So if I'm a little loopy in this video, please forgive me. But you know how you can help me feel a little bit better about having to wear this ugly bandage that this woman put on my arm? You can go and hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell, and that will let you be informed of the next time I have a new video up pertaining to wrestling, pertaining to finance, and also it allows the YouTube algorithm to let other people who are wrestling fans and financial interest people know that there's a channel that kind of mixes the two together because they don't go together at all, but I'm still doing this channel. So essentially what happened, and this is the, the logist of this whole story, is that once again, WWE has been slapped with a lawsuit. Now, lawsuits are not unfamiliar to corporations like this. And, you know, I see a lot of people got all wah about it. Companies get sued all the time. That's part of, that's part of the cost. That's why they have lawyers on retainer. But once again, WWE finds itself at the bad end of another lawsuit, another accusation of insider trading that negatively affected their shareholders. Amir Datsker, who is an investor, obviously, in uh, one of the shareholders in WWE, alleged that WWE made some shady deals with the board of directors, including Vince and his family, selling up to $300 million worth of stock. In fact, since all of this is public, you can go online and see when this was sold. It wasn't any time recently. It was uh, a little over a year ago or about a year ago. And even at that time, people were questioning what was going on. But what Datsker is saying is that because WWE and Vince and the board knew that this TV deal over in the Middle East was going down, that perhaps this was a bit of shadiness. Vince McMahon being shady, I, 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 I can't imagine anybody thinking that. There is a TV channel called OSN that uh, is carrying WWE programming, but it's no longer carrying sports programming. So the contract that WWE has with this network is no longer going to be available. So that's revenue that is not coming into the company. And this is why this is a bad thing, because I think a lot of people out there, especially if you're coming from some of the wrestling channels that are talking about this, don't really understand quite why this is a bad idea. They just hear WWE getting a lawsuit, ooh, bad stock stuff. Well, this is really why it's a bad thing. Insider trading is probably a term that you have heard. Now, the reason why insider trading is bad is because of the very reason I just said. If you are an executive in a company, you are asking the public to put money into your company that you use to operate your company, to pay yourself, more likely than not, and to basically have a much larger wealth of money for you to operate with, thus growing your company. As the old saying goes, and it's very true, it takes money to make money. So they essentially are borrowing sort of their money of these other people, and in return, these people hope that Vince and his crew are going to do a great job of running WWE so they get the most return for their investment. Now, a good way to show that you're not really getting a good return for your investment is when WWE executives go and know that there is going to be a less revenue coming in because this TV deal is not coming back. So that's millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars that are not going to be flowing into the company, thus potentially causing the, the price of the company and the value of the company to drop. Now, the reason why that's bad is because if they know that and then they sell and they don't tell their investors, they're taking advantage of their investors who are the reason why the price is there in the first place and getting a lot of money and cashing out and leaving the bag of the lower stock price for their investors. Now, is this going to put WWE out of business? Are they going to be in big trouble? 
highly unlikely, but it is a somewhat of a concern if you are an investor because this is not the first time, not even in the last 12 months that WWE has been involved in some sort of insider trading scandal. There was another one that was settled uh, by a judge about, I think about last year for similar tactics. And this could be concerning if you were an investor, but there's some things kind of countering this and also countering this lawsuit. WWE actually right now had a bump in its stock price. Uh, now today, June the 18th, everything is basically going down because the stock market, the economy and everything else is tanked today. And that's due to a lot of other reasons that have nothing to do with WWE. But WWE stock is also one of the ones that have gone down, but it went up significantly in their recent past because WWE was kind of involved in that meme stock thing. So you know how AMC and, and GameStop and everybody benefited from some of the Reddit people pumping money into it. Well, WWE was slightly on that bubble too. There were some people that were trying to pump money into WWE stock and to get it to go up and they successfully got it to go up. It wasn't anything life-changing, but there was a significant growth in the stock, which it had been higher than it had been for a while. In fact, still the stock is over, as of this recording, over $50. So you're not losing a lot of money, especially if you're a person who bought into WWE a long time ago when it was like 10, 12, 15, $18, you're probably doing pretty well holding on to that stock. If you're somebody who got in at $50 or more though, I would take a little bit more time to look into the fundamentals of the company. I would think if I was an investor, and this is just personal personal opinion, not stock advice, I'm not giving you financial advice. If it was me, I personally, and if I wasn't in WWE, I probably wouldn't be buying in right now, unless something else proves to be true. And the other thing that may prove to be true, which is actually going to be true, which is why I think this might not be really that big a deal for WWE in the long run, is that you have to understand they're about to go back out on tour in five weeks which means that there's multiple revenue streams that are coming back into the company. They haven't had live event ticket sale revenue coming into the company for over a year and a half. So that's a big chunk of money that's coming back into WWE. And what also comes with that is merchandise sales. So all these live events they're gonna be doing, traveling around the world, traveling around the country, they're gonna have people buying t-shirts and belts and bears and all kinds of stuff. So that's another revenue stream that they haven't had for the last year and a half that's gonna be added back to the company's balance sheets. Now WWE has countered claims about insider trading by lawyers seeking a way to try to recover their lost assets on investing in WWE stock and the price going down. Again, that's another thing that they can argue. There's tons of arguments that they could be making for this, but I think right now there's a twofold thing for me, again, my personal opinion. If I was to get into WWE right now, I might probably YOLO into it if I was feeling a little bit froggy, given the fact that, again, that I know that there's a bunch of revenue streams about to come into the company. On the other hand, there's another side of me that goes, I know this company and I've been following these people for a number of years and they, I, I can't necessarily say that I tr am very trustful of the people running WWE's executive board. But again, remember, not financial advice. I'm just giving my opinion. So I'd be a little eh, about uh, investing in them. I mean, it's Vince McMahon for goddamn. So at the end of the day, like I said, this is not gonna be a big thing for WWE, I don't think so, unless something else comes out and really damages to them, unless they admit that they knew this and they were trying to short everybody else and they were trying to just can't do a cash grab and just screw our investors, we're just gonna make off of all this money. I don't know. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on this story. Again, another thing you might wanna think about too is that most of the news report sites, when you go look this up that are reporting on this, or wrestling community websites and not necessarily financial websites, which kind of tells me it's probably not as big a deal in the real world as it is in the wrestling world, or should I say in the financial world as it is in the wrestling world. So again, we'll see how this whole lawsuit shakes out and whether you should be concerned as an investor. And as a wrestling fan, if you are a wrestling fan, I don't, wouldn't worry about WWE going out of business because of this anytime soon. But I do wanna know what you guys think about this. Are you an investor? Are you invested in WWE? Have you owned WWE stock before? Are you thinking about buying WWE stock? And what do you think about the fact that almost on a yearly routine that they get one of these lawsuits and how important really is it to you or do you not care? And you're just looking forward to the fact that, as I mentioned before, they got a lot of revenue that's about to come in and hit the company. Let your voice be heard in the comment box below. 
if you are interested in investing and you're thinking about getting into it, whether you want to buy WWE stock or any other stock, I would suggest using the affiliate link down below in the description box for Webull. Webull just actually up the gift price that they have on their free stock giveaway. So if you invest and sign up with Webull and deposit an initial deposit in your Webull account, you can get stocks, two free stocks that could be worth up to $2,300. That's a lot of money that could potentially be there. So give it a shot, see what you get. You're gonna get a free stock anyway, so you're probably gonna get at least 20 bucks at the at the low end, maybe. And if you wanna keep it, you can. If you, you don't have to keep it if you don't want to, but I would probably look at that. You might even get WWE as a free stock when you sign up for it. So check out Webull. If you wanna get into crypto too, I also have an affiliate link down below for Celsius who are giving monster rates right now on cryptocurrency so you might as well take that free look free money is free money and anybody's giving away if these companies are giving away free money my thing is always take free money anyway let me know what you guys think about all this stuff if you do get a free stock from webull definitely comment down below and let me know what free stocks you got and i will see you guys next time hopefully without this ugly bandage on my arm from getting my blood drawn <laughs> next time here on wrestling with finance have a good day